All right, so now we've reached the part of my demo where I need to video record. So here you can see I have my test tubes A, B, C, D, and E. Again, just for clarification, A is just a water solution, B is a glucose solution, C is potatoes, D is tomato juice, and E is starch. What I'm about to do now is I'm going to add 20 drops of Benedict solution to each of them. Now, if you read my introduction, then you know that Benedict solution is an indicator solution that's used to test for the presence of reducing sugars such as a glucose. So I'm going to drop 20 drops of Benedict solution into each one of these, and so you can see me dropping. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Now this is my Benedict solution here. Note that my Benedict solution has this nice pretty blue color to it. Really what tests for a positive test for Benedict solution is you'll get a color change from this blue solution. And so now we're at 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And now we do that for all of our solutions. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now, I'd like for you guys to pay attention to the colors that each of them appear beforehand. Now, I know that our background is blue, so it makes it a little hard to see, but what I can do is I will put a white backdrop against it so you, maybe you can see it a little bit better. Okay. So you can see that they're all that nice blue color. Remember, a positive test shows that we should have a color change. And it'll be a noticeable color change because it'll go to red, to green, or yellow. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put each of my solutions into my boiling water for three minutes. And we're going to see what happens. And there's my boiling water right there. Now it's not necessary that I use tongs for this part because the glass itself is not hot. But for removing them, I will need to use tongs. So we're going to go ahead and record down here at the bottom and I want you to note the color change that happens. You can see that the solution in the middle and the solution on the far left are already starting to change colors. The solution on the far left is turning a yellow color, and the solution, the third solution, is turning a brick red color. Now, if you look to the solution that's to the right of the brick wet red one, you can see that it's also starting to change colors. That's the potato solution. It's turning a green color. So once again, we have three solutions that have performed a positive test for Benedict solution. And I will put up the final product picture after I remove them. Thank you very much.